I'm a big fan of French computers and I've covered quite a few, especially of the Thompson line. Well, it's been a while, so time to add one more. And here it is, and it's a beauty. <laughs> Unlike the previous few I've covered, this is a two-part system, a mega computer in a box and an external keyboard. But look at this styling, the subtle colouring, the wonderful use of lettering. Uh, it just epitomises the French computer style. If I might drop to my very ropey GCSE French for a moment, c'est magnifique. <laughs> uh, released in 1985, the T09 is based on the earlier T07-70 model. Uh, I've covered that one previously. Uh, it's got very similar specs, with the main addition being this integrated 3.5-inch floppy drive. Uh, it's powered by a Motorola 6809E, running at 1 MHz, with a Thompson EF9369 powering its 320 by 200 resolution, and is technically capable of 16 colors from a palette of 4096. It's got three channels of sound with 7 octaves and 128 kilobytes of RAM. All in all, not at all shabby for a computer for 1985. Uh, it's also got a very hefty 136k of ROM, and the reason for that we'll see, and it should be fairly obvious once we power the thing up. Because this is a French computer, the main display comes out of a SCART cable, which is both handy, and it also makes for a very nice picture. Uh, there's also a T09 Plus, but that one's actually based on the T08, uh, and it's got half a meg of memory, a double-sided disk drive rather than the single-sided one that's in this machine, and it's got some built-in ports for mouse and keyboard. This does have a built-in port, which is here on this keyboard here, uh, but yeah get more on the on the on the plus uh if anyone by the way happens to have one kicking around they they don't know what to do with i'd be more than happy to to take it off their hands just to help them out obviously <laughs> uh right in terms of software we've got a few options uh the one op option we'll be using exclusively for this um video is the built-in floppy drive of course uh, but there's also the memo 7 socket here which is like the cartridges you'll have seen on the previous videos i did uh, but also a cassette which you can see the connector for on the front here uh, there's also you see there uh, the light pen port which obviously uh, is also a big feature of the thompson computers this one didn't come with a light pen on board. i don't know if they came in the box at all but this one didn't have one i would like to get a hold of one because they if it's anything, to, if you go by the T07 one, they, they are lovely pieces of art in their, in, the, in of themselves. It did actually come with the manual, which is also stunning. Uh, lots of useful information there, just like you used to get in all of them. But more importantly, if we go to the back of this book, it includes at least one, I don't know if there are more, of the uh, actual discs that came with it. And this has got a little sample apps on, which we'll take a look at. Actually, before we do any of that, <laughs> we should look at the back. Uh, and you can see we have um uh, audio output there we've got a, a tv a tv aerial connector as well which is odd for a french computer of this era uh the scart lead of course a printer port and then we've got all these expansion ports as well uh thompson's had a kind of a very similar expansion port across all of their ranges actually and many of them will from the machines we've had before probably would work in this and this is the fixed power lead which obviously has a european plug socket right turn it on we have this giant like orangey yellow button here we push that and then whoop, there we go we should spark into life there we are and yeah we have this rather lovely startup screen quite similar to the uh the t range of other t range of computers uh at the top we've got yeah files and folders then we've got uh what is a word processing package obviously microsoft basic standard for the these machines we've got both 164k basic because to be compatible across the range the settings and like a file explorer style thing at the bottom and you'll see d and e at the end and this is the thing that kind of confused me for quite a while so if i put a disc in now and i had to again with my ropey gcse french had to go through the manual several times to find this but this is for loading up the disc so if i put the disc in the d there we go it starts loading up from the disc and as i said this is just the um sample application from the manual there we go 
So we have uh, initiation of the machine, so about the machine. Um, that goes us back to the menu, or tells us about the menu, the last option there. And then the other two are instructions on the files and folders and the word processor app. So let's have a look at the, the word processor instructions, I guess. Right, that's a lot of words, all of them in French. Let's eject this disk, and I say we go out and we actually look at the word processor ourselves. Now we can just push the reset button, which is this gray one here. That takes us back here. So let's actually just look at the word processor, I guess. So if we go into, and press two. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is something that, yeah, we should be talking about anyway. Obviously this is an Azerty keyboard anyway, it's French. But um, the other thing is that, you see these numbers are in green? They're not the primary function on this key. So two, when I just pressed two there, wasn't two, it was the accented E. So I've actually got to hold down this button and push two or use the number pad. So I use the number pad and press two. That will now load up. <laughs> yeah, so now we're in the word processor, eventually. There we go, there we are. So it's a nice simple word processor. It is like a graphical one as well, so you know, pretty cool. Let's go back. And we'll push those two. So this is files and folders, or fichier and dossier, I guess. Apologies, anyone who is French. Right, so you see that's loaded. So now we can use the function keys to look at the menus, and these are all, well, they're all to do with modifying files and copying them around and what have you. So all kind of, all built in, all kind of interesting. Uh, but yeah, basic, let's go for basic. Yep, and there we are. So this is, again, Microsoft, Bait. oh, again. <laughs> <laughs> that um that that fools me too many times and I can't right so but I can just do that rather than having to hold down a um and yes I am able to hunt and peck because again French keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> and there we go. <laughs> As we know it, it's basic. Um, yeah, the other stuff is like obviously, did want to got some the settings if we go into there. Choose the palette, so that changes the color scheme of the, the the boot up menu, and then return, which will just. Let me ever try to change the palette. Oh, look at that! That's very funky. Don't know how you control it, mind you, but yeah. Now it is possible to write disks or using a grease weasel for this machine which I did, can't find that disc. <laughs> um, so I won't be able to show you much else, but honestly, the games you'd be seeing would be similar ones I've shown in previous ones anyhow. I might do like another video showing some stuff off, but anyway, this was the Thompson Tier 9. It's such a gorgeous computer. I am, I've wanted one for ages. Uh, really glad to have found one that was the cheap online. Really nice guy who sold it as well, so uh, yeah. Absolutely wonderful, brilliant machine. I just, honestly, these French machines are so underrated when you just like compare to the other other machines like Sinclair's and Commodore and what have you. And they're just lovely and they're feature packed and good machines. But anyway. 
<laughs> thanks for watching if you like the video please hit like if you really like the video please hit subscribe if you didn't like the video or you have something else to say then please leave it in the comments below if you want to help us out then you can do it several ways you can do uh, join our patreon you can join the membership on youtube you can buy stuff from the merch store all sorts of things or just share and subscribe those things also help see you next time the princess is horrible the future looks bleak remember our childhood to get us through the week